Okay, guys, with all the craziness in October, we're out to talk about many, many things in these videos, but today it's another good news. They're coming for Viltrux and they're upgrading their new firmware updates for all the 1.4 uh, aperture lenses that they have, the 56, the 33, and the 23 millimeter in a new firmware update. Like I said, they said that the main um, improvement with this firmware update comes from the fact that the autofocus won't hunt that much in autofocus continuous. We won't have that twitch back and forth. And that is great. As you know already, as I mentioned, I'm shooting all these videos on my X-T3. Now with the 33 1.4, actually the last two or three were shot on this lens. And if you see any improvement in autofocus, if it's faster, uh, I'm not sure. I'm shooting in autofocus continuous with a zone area focus, not the face detection because I'm always afraid of that, uh, you know, bouncing back and forth. The background is pumping and uh, I don't like that. But today I wanna tell you how you can upgrade your Viltrux 33mm f1.4 or 23 or the 56 using your Mac OS. So a MacBook Pro or an iMac or a MacBook Air or any other uh, device that runs Mac OS and not waste any more time and let's get to it Okay, guys, so first and foremost we have to go on the Viltrux website and Find the firmware update that we're looking for the website is both in English and uh, Chinese or uh, Mandarin or whatever this Asian language is I uh, Go to the download page and here are all the firmware updates that you need the lower part are the new ones actually you have the older ones as well so if you are looking for any of the 23 33 or 56 1.4 they're there i'm going to download the 33 because that's what i'm going to use today and in the downloads folder there you have it uh, it's a rar file which is not available to unarchive without having another app and I uh, strongly recommend to download the Unarchiver. This is a uh, third-party app that can help you unarchive all the RAR files. It's free, so you won't have any problems. Open uh, the app, all set, and then go back to the download, double-click the RAR file, and a folder will gonna pop up. This is the file that you need, the DAT file. The other one is an information file. Go into your uh, new hardware, connect your lens, and you have that new hardware called Viltrux. Uh, double click on it, and inside you will have uh, information and you'll see exactly what the firmware update is for your lens. And uh, now, the simple thing is just drag the DAT file into that hard drive. It's gonna copy, and that's it. Okay guys, so uh, that is the way you are upgrading your lenses, your Viltrux lenses, using the Mac OS uh, operating system. So um, if you are enjoying this video, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and also give these videos a thumbs up. It's very important for the algorithm. Share them with your friends so we grow this community around and I'm very happy to see that more and more people are doing that and are joining this channel. That is great for me and I can't wait to uh, come up with the new content because I have many, many things on my mind. Also, uh, I want to mention that if you are owning one of the Viltrux lenses, you should start testing it. I will do it too. Uh, I will do it intensively. But I think from what I saw because it was released yesterday, this autofocus improvement is visible. Uh, it's a little bit less uh, hunting. It's a little bit less uh, background um, pumping in uh, using the X-T3 or the X-C3. I didn't try it on my X-Pro3, but I think it's pretty much the same thing. Nonetheless, thank you again, and I will definitely see you in a bit.